cooking with our pizzas. watching cooking with the pizzas today we're gonna be making my delicious fried cabbage yes mm, it's gonna be delicioso okay so let's get into the ingredients I have one large head of cabbage I have one large onion do not skimp on the onion baby because the onion is what makes this dish delicious okay and I chop that onion up I also have three-fourths cup of water. I have three cloves of garlic that I minced. I have one teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a teaspoon of red pepper flakes because I like it spicy, okay? Now, as far as the seasoning goes, you're going to use more seasoning than that, but it is up to you, okay? So you're going to season it throughout the cooking process, all right? So, you know, you're going to be adding a little seasoning here and there. You'll see. All right, let's get to cooking with the pizzas. All right, guys, so we are sauteing these onions, okay? We're going to saute them. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a half an inch of oil, okay? We want to keep that oil at a half an inch because we are frying our cabbage, okay? We are not deep frying it, but we're frying it, so we want to have a good little amount of oil, just a little bit, you know, like a half inch, I would say, okay, and we just saute in our onions, we're going to saute these, get them nice and soft, and then we're going to go ahead and we are going to add our cabbage, now we have that one cup of water on the side for if we need it, but right now we're going to just saute this and after this gets translucent we're going to go ahead and we're going to add our three large cloves of garlic okay mm. i love the smell of saute onions <laughs> they smell so good now to be honest with you guys i don't know if i'm gonna be able to hide these onions okay i'm gonna try my best but i definitely don't think it's gonna work out but it's all good it's gonna be so delicious that he's not even going to worry about these onions. But I wanna saute them and get them sauteed now. You know, you want them sauteed, you don't want them too firm. You want them to be soft, but you don't want them to be burnt. You don't want them to start browning. You know how they start getting that brown color? We definitely do not want that. Okay? So it's going good. Sauteing up nice and light. All right, and then we're gonna add the garlic. But after we add the garlic, we're gonna quickly add the cabbage. Because we do not, I tell you guys all the time, we do not want to eat or taste burnt garlic. Okay? We don't wanna do that. Okay? So we're just gonna continue to saute these onions. I'll say about five, six, seven minutes. I mean, it depends on how you would like your onions to be sauteed. Some people like them a little bit harder. I don't. I don't. I do not. I want mine to be soft. So that when I add the cabbage, you know, it's going to be a nice consistency. All right, so I'm gonna to continue to saute these onions. And get them nice and soft, okay? All right, guys, so I added the garlic, and we're going to simmer that, okay? Now, this is fried cabbage, but it's not literally fried, okay? So the amount of oil that I have in here, it's like a half an inch. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a half an inch of oil, okay? But we want enough oil. You can use olive oil, but we don't want too much oil. We don't want it to be greasy, okay? So now we're going to go ahead and add, first I'm adding half a cup 
of that water. I have three fourths cup of water, but I'm only gonna have, add a half a cup and the cabbage, all right? And then we're gonna let that simmer for five minutes, okay? We're gonna be cooking this in about five minutes intervals, okay? All right, guys, so I added the cabbage and I actually went ahead and just added the whole uh, three fourths cup of water, okay? So now we're letting it simmer for our five minutes. All right, guys, into the five minutes. It's been about a minute or so. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to stir it a little bit, okay? Oh, it's getting all over. Stir it a little bit. And you know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead, clean up this mess. I'm gonna go ahead and into that. Well, I'm gonna let it cook a little bit more. But I think that we're gonna need to just, cause I'm just looking and seeing that when we stirred it up, it kind of misplaced the oil at the bottom a little bit. But no matter, so let's let that simmer down a little more in five minutes. All right guys, so it was cooking for five minutes. Now we're gonna add the first layer of seasoning. Okay, we're gonna add the Cajun seasoning at the top. We're gonna add our Cajun seasoning. Okay, we're gonna add our onion powder. Okay, we're gonna add our garlic powder. Okay, and we're gonna add a couple, we're gonna add a couple of these crushed red pepper. We don't want it too spicy because big guys like, I make everything spicy. I love spicy. All right, so we're gonna cover this down for another five minutes. And as you can see, it is now starting to cook. Okay, and you see how we had all of that cabbage at first and look at how much we have now. Mm-hmm. All right, we're gonna continue to let this cook for another five minutes. All right, guys, so now we took the top off. It was cooking for 10 minutes. We're not gonna put the top back on, okay? We're gonna stir it up. Okay, we're not gonna put the top back on because we are frying the cabbage. So there's no need for us to put the top back on. We were just trying to help it along. Okay, but we frying it so we don't need, we do not need to put the top back on because if we do that and we put the top back on, what it's gonna do is it's gonna steam and we're gonna have steamed cabbage and not fried cabbage. So we're just gonna cook this down. We're not putting no more top on it and we're gonna cook it. Okay, of course, we're gonna turn the heat up just a little bit all right, we're gonna add some more seasoning. All right, we'll add some more. Now, I'm not using salt because for right now, I'm gonna see how it turns out because the Cajun seasoning to me has a lot of salt. Okay, so all right, guys, so what I realized when I tasted it, I realized it was a little bit hard. All right, so we're gonna add a teeny bit of water, just a touch, okay? It wasn't even a quarter of the one cup. Just a little bit of water, okay? And the reason why we did that is because we don't want it to be hard, and it was actually hard when I tasted it, and I didn't like that. Some pieces were a little bit still, a little bit tough, and we don't want that. Okay, and it tastes amazing, guys. It tastes amazing. It tastes amazing. Okay. You know, I like a little bite to my cabbage, too. So I just added that, I would say about two tablespoons of water. All right, but I'm still not gonna cover it. I'm still not gonna cover it up, okay? And we're gonna let that cook. All right, we're gonna let that fry. Mm, it tastes amazing, guys. All right, guys, uh, we're ready for the second layer of seasoning. As you can see, earlier, I just went ahead and threw some Tony's in the mix. So that's why it wasn't part of the ingredients. I just decided I wanted a little bit of Tony's seasoning in here. So this is our second layer of seasoning. I'm gonna add a little Tony's. And be careful with the Tony's because Tony's is a little salty. So I would say, 
no more than a tablespoon, okay? We're gonna add our onion powder. We're gonna add our garlic powder. Okay, we're gonna add some more red pepper flakes. All right, and we're just gonna stir this up. Okay, and trust me, it's gonna get all in there because this is like the second layer of seasoning, okay? And then we're just gonna go ahead and continue to cook this, okay? Now, since we stir it up, actually, what you can do is you can go ahead right now, since we stirred that up, and you can go ahead and add your third layer of seasoning, okay? So go ahead and add the third layer now, that's fine. All right, and then we're just gonna go ahead and cook it. Remember, a little bit of the Tony's. All right, we're gonna add the rest of our garlic powder and the rest of our onion powder. So we're gonna let that cook, okay? And then we're going to go ahead and mix it up. But for right now, we're gonna let that set right there. All right, guys, so I cooked it for an additional 15 minutes. So the total cook time for me is 30 minutes, okay? It is 30 minutes. It all depends on your doneness that you like with your cabbage. Some people like it a little bit, I would say a little bite to it, and some people like it soft. I prefer mine soft. So 30 minutes is the cook time. Cooking with the pizzas. And don't forget to like and subscribe, okay? All right, guys, the fried cabbage is done. It has been plated. Let's take a closer look. Mmm, look at that. Ooh, that looks amazing. All right, cooking with the pizzas. And don't forget to like and subscribe.